I am so happy that you are here. Today, we're going to talk about versatile resources. One of the things that we really try to do here at Funny Dapper is create resources that can be used for multiple purposes. As a teacher, it takes a lot of time to create resources. So being able to print, laminate, and use one resource packet over and over again for a multitude of lessons saves time. And we all know that we're short on time. This is our patterning, matching, and sequencing packet for the holidays. So I just wanted to show you a few options that you can do with this packet. First, I have our patterning gifts. So when I'm working with my students, we're gonna talk about what we know about patterning. This is a sequence that repeats itself, just like clap, pat, circle. And we'll practice that a couple times and then we'll look at our gifts and we'll talk about the pattern that repeats purple gift, green gift, orange gift, purple gift, green gift. What comes next? That's right, the orange gift. Another way you can use this pack is for matching. And I like this because this pack can be used with multiple age groups. Our two-year-olds may not be ready for patterning yet, but we absolutely can talk about what is the same, what is different, and what matches. So I grab my dry erase marker, I put it on the dry erase marker. You can use art paper, or you can even print these out and match them on a tabletop. It's up to you. But we're gonna talk about similarities and differences. All of our ornaments are round, but what's different? They have different colors and different patterns. Is this ornament the same as this ornament? No, they're different. Is this ornament the same as this ornament? Yes, they are. Let's draw a line. So now we're also working on writing skills and fine motor development as well as those early math skills. And we can go ahead and show our students how to match the ornaments. Another great way to use this resource is through sequencing. And sequencing is simply teaching our students what is coming next in the sequence or what is missing from the sequence. So we're gonna look one, two, there's a blank, four. What number comes between two and four? Let's count together. One, two, three, Four. So these are just a few different ways that you can use this. There are multiple holiday themed objects in this pack and you can use it over and over again. I hope you enjoyed.